All right, just gonna continue looting whatever I can. Small MP potion. Breezy Grass Inn. Bandit's Cave I should probably avoid. Miner's Cave seems pretty easy. About as easy as the one I was just in. I really hope we get an airship at some point. Bronze Necklace. What the? The merchant can be here too? He can be on the world map. Hmm. Some of these can only be obtained from the merchant themselves. It's pretty powerful, but it's also expensive. Later in the game, it could be useful, I guess, just for getting an, an attack buff. According to the guide, that, that enemy over there is a boss, but I can ambush them if I go through the miner's cave to the other side first. Chad the Crab's Palace. Didn't we fight that thing back then? During... Uh, uh, in, in even for Eternia? Remember it being a very tanky boss. Ah, you found me. Found Danny. Got all stat book and his token. The heck is what? I guess this, the trees act as a sort of fence. Check inside then. Oh no, starting to turn to night. Blue stat book. Welcome, what would you like to eat today? Hmm. Be sure, sure to ready yourself at night. I'm off to start my own adventure in this new world. Well, all the monsters are around. There's literally up in the arriving late. Good thing we... Oh, they, you said the same thing in the other end. Hey there again. Need any items? How many Hanks are there? Monsters generally will stay away from bright places. I don't think like I've explored the mountainside in yet. Ah, oh, you found me. Why does this place look exactly like the other inn? I feel like a lot of uh, structures are in the exact same location compared to before. Even that statue here... I've seen before. Welcome, what would you like to eat today? Same thing here. It's a different food, though. Hmm. That means it's a rare food that can only be obtained in this inn, right? Well, the monsters are around. Oh, you're saying the same thing. But there are new NPCs here. Oh, Harold, always wanting to be the hero of the story. I wish I was in my own game. I can't talk to the witch back there. Listen, Harold, this time it is someone else's adventure. Green stat book. The merchant over there is really weird. I swear, everywhere I go, I see him. There's still some chests out here that I missed. We're back at Cherry Fer uh, Fairy Inn. Blue stat book. I don't know how strong the enemies are out here, but look at some of the, these places. Breakfast house, level 44. Why is the breakfast house so strong? Bug force is also looking pretty strong. Definitely not going to try that for a while. Everything should be done in a in a sensible order.
Welcome to L Lona. Okay. Can I enter it? I shouldn't be here yet. Because plot reasons. Oh no, it's turning nighttime. Pearl Sanctuary. Holy water. Flash. Do we have any whip users? Okay, now I'm gonna be at the mercy of monsters from here on out. What's this mountain pass here? Nope. Blocked for plot reasons. Alright, let's do Miner's Cave. It's the weakest area so far. Oh no, it's dark. And I can't even read the sign. Large bronze shield. Small MP potion. Okay, that one is guarding something important. Looks pretty dangerous too. Iron long sword. Red Staff Book. Probably grind a bit before trying to fight that one. It's more slimes. How strong are you? Monster looks dangerous. Do you want to fight? Yes. It's fast. Aim. Cover. Shoot, I don't even know what you're weak to, actually. Strong attack level six. It's one level higher than me. Not good. Where's my skills? Wounding shot. It's already half dead, wow. It's level 6, you said. Okay. Enduring stance. Strong attack again. Ow. I still have aim, so let's go ahead and use a triple shot. This will probably finish it. Okay, got Magic Ring and Earth I Axe. Health Ring. Hmm. Okay, with that I can try ambushing those guys from the other side of the bridge. These... Uh, this red team. The monster looks dangerous. Do you want to fight? I got the upper hand. An undead team, you say? Well, now's a good chance for me to attack up self. Aim. Cover.
Fire Strike. Whoa, that's a lot. Huh, a spell. Ouch. That was a waste of arrows. Whoops. Are they both concerned back row right now or front row? I can't tell. They're all level 5, so I should be able to take it. Guard. That wasn't too bad. And with that, I have a clear shortcut to get back to the shrine whenever I want. I mean the guild. The Guild of Light. I want to do everything in the proper order, but it's not always clear what that is. The optional dungeons seem to have uh, uh, all their levels marked off, but the story ones don't really... Story enemies, I, ha I kind of have to guesstimate based on the surrounding enemies. Hmm. Should I head to the Guild of Light now, or should I do some bonus dungeons first? Alright, maybe I'll try entering the town for now. I think I can just save here and maybe restock on supplies. Yes, yeah, so that would be a good idea. Just look for stores to spend my hard-earned money. Different accessories can provide different benefits. Mix and match to suit your needs. These items have been got blessed by Goddess Iron. Anything for interest? Hmm. Yeah, everything here is really expensive. I feel like the game expects you to find the majority of your items on the road. So that- uh, and not depend too much on shops on, except to fill in very specific uh, uh, requirements. Yeah, enemies don't drop a whole lot of money in this game. But I feel like the enemies are also not balanced that you uh, to require you to buy too much stuff too. If you need to travel at night, be sure not to get cornered or walk alongside somewhere safe. Be careful at night. The monsters will chase after you and they are stronger. People usually eat breakfast here and then go to Heaven's Tavern for other meals. Can't talk to the person in the back. Is that a ninja? No, it's a guy with a beard. The Guild of Light should be safe at night. With so many guards, everyone should, well, should be safe. The rooms get busy to all the travelers. I may consider using the inn before doing whatever trial awaits me at the Guild of Light. Hmm. Welcome to the Guild of Light. The Guild of Light is straight ahead. Welcome to the Heaven Tavern. What would you like to eat today? Heaven Steak. Only in he Heaven's Tavern. Definitely some stuff I want to use late game when I have more money. It's great. It's gr great eating and drinking with friends. Have you tried the, the Heaven's Steak? This is the only place where you can get it. Everywhere seems to have its unique dishes. Bread and meat, the best combination ever. I'm finally spending time with my girlfriend. Since she's a cleric, she's often traveling, help, uh, off traveling, helping others. Uh, you can always count on Heaven's Tavern for great food. It's nice to have time off. I don't get to see my boyfriend often do all the active duties. No, I'm so good. We get a lot of customers every day. 
Speak to my wife at the front to order. Be sure to order plenty to eat. I feel proud to serve a guild of light members. I wonder if there's any accessory that can increase... Uh, increase the money drops. Have you tried the pan-fried fish? It can increase your magic attack. I can either eat here or at the end if this place gets too busy. Eat my cooking. I come here often since it tastes so good. More stat books I will save for when I have all the playable characters so I can perfectly distribute them. Get everyone perfectly balanced. Nice to see you guys again. This place is very beautiful, so it's, 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 see anything you would like? If it's this beautiful, does that mean it'll have a hidden dark side? Also, I wasted a, a quite a lot of arrows with some inefficient skill usage. But hopefully I can find more on the road. I used to be an adventurer like you. And does not say uh, anything else. I heard that Lona is protecting their crystal well with their famous dragoons. Maybe we'll recruit a dragoon to our cause. Also, there's something hidden behind here. This tree? Money. Be sure to stop by Heaven's Tavern for great food. We're well protected with all the Guild of Light members and guards. While on your journey, if you have extra time, check in caves and dungeons or treasure. They're often worth your while. Hmm. Potions or ingredients? Even ingredients cost a lot. No, I'm just trying to tackle everything in the most- uh, in the best order possible. That way, each dungeon will make me strong enough for the next. In theory, that's how it's supposed to go. It would feel really bad if I did a stronger dungeon before a weaker one. That would not feel efficient. Make sure you equip yourself with the best weapons money can buy. The swords they supply us aren't the greatest. I'm gonna save up some gold and buy a new one. What do you sell? Want to take a look at my new weapons? They're brand new. Iron. Willow bow. But they're so expensive. But it's worth it, I think. Unless I can get one later, in which case I just wasted 500 bucks. I also have iron long sword. But it's not as good as the lash. The lash is actually very well balanced and can save me a tiny bit of MP. What about maces? Yeah, I don't need to buy anything here, other than that bow. Maybe if I can find a really good bow somewhere. Hmm. General clothing is perfect for a balance of stats. Yeah, I noticed that. I like having general clothing for the speed. Magic clothing provides more magic defense and magic attack. I think for... Uh, for, uh, for my... Uh, t uh, for uh, Linky and Lexi, general clothes is better. Oh, but it's expensive. Do you really think we'll be able to go outside and play again? It's boring singing within the walls. I want to explore caves. They have plenty of cool treasures. When the war is over, I want to visit Valeria. Welcome to the Guild of Light. Don't cause any trouble here. Whoa, this is a long path back here. Ah, you found me. Okay, give me your stuff. Large mixed potion. Yes, do everything except the main quest for now. Wait, but if I step through there, would it activate the main quest? I don't know. It was only when I entered a building. At least the other side. Welcome to the Guild of Light. Okay, nothing there yet. Be sure to stay within our walls at night. It becomes very dangerous at night. I want to become a paladin when I grow up. I want to meet the Radiant Orc someday. 
Her parents won't let us play outside the wall. It's too dangerous, they say. Good day, you. During my youth, monsters were rare. Now they are everywhere. At least the blue ones aren't, don't aggro you as much as the red ones, huh? At least that's how it's supposed to work. I've heard rumors about a mysterious merchant that appears around 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Never seen him, but people say he appears in the corner around here. It's pretty boring being a guard. However, it's a job that needs to be done. A night merchant. My husband was a great paladin decades ago. He served the Guild of Light with pride. Okay, I don't think this NPC was here before. Got the tokens? I'll trade you. Heaven's Blade, tip of the iceberg. Just a tip. 20% chance to slow ignores 100% of defense. 1% chance to... Orgasm? Wait, what? Orgasm? What the heck does that mean? Light elemental and chance to silence. Has very high magic attack. Would be very good for Linky. But is it worth using? I, I don't know how many Danny tokens there are in this game. Are these the only things available? Alright, I'll just buy one Heaven's Blade. I think there's enough Danny tokens that I can get away with it, but I don't want to get too ha spend happy with them since they're in short supply. Yes, this will be good for when I fight dark type enemies. I just ran into a red enemy. These guys are probably really strong. Holy shit, they're level 5 Mountain Wolf. I might be able to handle it. Okay, they're- yeah, don't want to fight these guys too often. Ow, he knocked me to the back row. Skill. I don't think I could- these will take up an entire turn, won't they? I'm already almost dead. We can heal each other. Oh no. Damn it, I was- I underestimated these guys. Going- uh, fighting these guys at night is not gonna work out well for me. They can get so many turns to my own. Ugh. Not worth it. Out. Back into town I go. A lively forest. Why is it so dark? At least we get some arrows here. There's some mushrooms to give us some light. Hmm. Okay, look for treasures. What is that thing walking around? Radiant Feather. They're all potion. How do I get down there? Oh, there we go. 250. A hundred.
Seems to be something odd about this chest. Do you want to open it? It's a trap. We're asleep? Why are we all asleep? No, no, the sleep effect is from the inn. Oh, okay, seriously. If that looks... Why are you using the sleep graphic for that? That's so misleading. When it's supposed to actually make us stronger. Wow, 90? That's insane. It's only level 4 yet already did that much to me. What? It debuffed me. Special Super Strike. Double Shot. Ow. Uchi Gatana. that do? It's not as strong, but it has more speed. 15% chance to counter physicals. Hmm. Maybe she can start giving this to him. I'm sure he won't have as much attack, but the fact that he draws aggro actually helps me here. What the? Mobun is attempting to flee, so I have to kill it quick. Can I get there in time? Okay, got it. Got a lot of resources for that. Uh, got a lot of experience. Okay. Got vaporized. Good. Okay, nerve map. There's a fairy that can heal us, but it's a limited time use. Boy, what, what kind of armor is that? Hmm. Radiant Feather. Okay, there seems to be some secret passages down here. Small MP potion. Small mixed potion. The heck? It's gonna be a tough one to get into. Can, maybe I can only access this from the other side. Arrow times eight. Whoa, that one's just sitting there lying in wait for me. More arrows. How many arrows can I have? 
I can only have 99. That means any more arrows I pick up just get wasted. Oh, I found it. Hypnos Blessing, does that let me resist sleep or something? Guess it does. Maybe I need it for the next fight. Hmm. Elson gives me a bit of defense anyways. Okay, another map. I see a merchant. And also a bunch of chests down there. Hey there again, need any items? Yep, cannot buy a single arrow anymore. Dangerous presence nearby. Yeah, I should be prepared. Aim. Cover. It can AOE me! Unbelievable. Lame. Hmm. Bodkin tips. Effective. I think it, he managed to ki counter some of that damage. I don't know. Fire strike. Triple shot. Heal itself. And dead. Got apples, that's it. 
And now I can claim some treasure. Blue stat book. Red stat book. Skill point potion. Orange stat book. Full elixir. Flowery helm. Good thing I didn't buy any iron helms or anything. Ugh. Reduce earth damage and magic damage. Taken. Yeah, simply go, uh, uh, going to all the optional dungeons right now might be kind of dangerous unless I do some serious grind. Okay, hopefully level 6 will be enough for the duel in here. I recommend all spend all Linky skill points before continuing. Continue on? Yes, I, I think I prepared him enough for this. Not going away in line? This is an urgent matter. We can't afford to waste time. Slow down, I can't keep up. Paladin, how dare you interrupt our meeting? I'm sorry, sir, but this is important. I bring you the Radiant Ark. We have plenty of them in the queue outside. You, shall, you two shall wait your turn. No, Grandmaster. He really is the Radiant Ark, I am certain. He proved his worthiness in a battle against the monster, and he was gifted with the Holy Light. I can't say I believe you, Paladin. He might just be a nerd, uh, 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 light using specialist, but not necessarily the Radiant Ark. You do re realize you are the only one here to testify. Yes, but I am speaking, speaking the truth. And this boy you have there, is he supposed to be the Radiant Ark? Yes, his name is Linky. He, is tr he truly is the Radiant Ark. The room is filled with laughter. Haha, ah, ha. ah, that was a good paladin. That, that was good paladin. I'll scribble record, uh, scribe record it later. Now please leave the chamber. We have a long list of candidates to process and can't afford to waste more time. But. Now, paladin. Weimer. What is it, holy paladin I Isabel? Maybe we should listen to paladin Terence. Are you mad, woman? It won't hurt, will it? It's not our fault if it is false, as you believe. The people have only Paladin turns to blame. You're right. We'll give the boy a shot. I am Holy Lancer Burl from Lona. I will be the conductor of the first trial. Trial by combat. Prepare yourself. You can do it, Linky. Okay, endure... How strong are you? Holy shit. Level 7? You're one level higher than me. I managed to counter, but it didn't do enough. Person's really strong. Hmm. Physical break? Will that work on you? Determination. I managed to counter some. Are they bleeding? I think I somehow... That's right, the... My weapon it has a bleed effect, so that actually gives me a slight advantage. Give us personal expectations. Time to finish this. Jump. If you're gonna jump, I'm gonna guard. I can't target you while you're jumping, anyways. Five thousand. Never mind. That's not holy, holy lancer barrel. Violet, come quick! Ah, he, he sure overdid it. Will he be okay? Nothing Holy Cleric Violet can't fix. You got carried away, uh, uh, Beryl. You aren't supposed to use your full strength. My apologies. It's been a while since I've had a proper duel. His fighting skills, while lacking polish, are acceptable. I say he passes. He has great potential. Seriously? Well, it seems he has passed this test. Let's move on to the spiritual test. Holy Cleric Violet, commence your test. Understood. Now hold my hands and close your eyes. I shall sense your spiritual energy. Where am I? Not worry, my child. 
Now let me sense your spiritual energy. This is simply amazing. What it is? Your spiritual energy. It's on a scale I haven't sensed before. My mother was a priestess with a yellow shirt. Could I explain why? I must tell everyone else. What news, Holy Cl Cleric Violet? Is he strong spiritually? His spiritual power is on an inhuman level. He definitely passes this test. Well, the last test will be our final answer. No one has been able to pass this one yet. Oh no. And what is this test exactly? Contacting the Holy Goddess Iron. Now then, read the incantation for which to summon the Goddess Iron aloud. Should you be the Radiant Arc, then she will appear before us. Holy Goddess Iron, hear my plea. The world grows dark, and the light of heaven fades. The kingdoms are in turmoil. Its citizens afraid. I, the Radiant Arc, require your aid. Appear before me and bless my crusade. Did it work? I guess not. See, it is as I said. He is not the Radiant Arc. Give it some time, Grandmaster. Just give up, Terence. I said it myself. I'm not the Radiant Arc. The boy doesn't even believe it himself. Why are you wasting my time with the assassinate charade? You'll be demoted this very minute. In fact, henceforth you are now. I am Goddess Iron. I have come by your request, Radiant Arc. What the? Goddess Iron? You forget your place. A true Grandmaster would not have ridiculed really his subordinate so harshly, nor so hastily as you have done, especially a well-meaning paladin like Terence. Furthermore, your lack of patience nearly sent away humanity's only hope of winning this accursed war. I'm sorry, Goddess Iron. Perhaps a new Grandmaster should be appointed, but that's a matter for a later discussion. Radiant Arc, I have been waiting. What took you so long? Why are you calling me Radiant Arc? My name is Linky. Very well, Linky. What took you so long to contact me? Well, for he, pro he lived miles away from this place. There's no way he could have known how to contact you. Why should I? I have no interest in talking to you. How dare he? Linky, that is Guy Siren, the most benevolent being in the world. Please, show some respect. She speaks as if she knows me. She's like she's my friend. But if this was preordained, then why did my mother have to die? You have quite the sharp tongue, Linky. Perhaps you should stop waggling it so you may listen better. That's a good boy. I've been watching over you, Linky, ever since you were born. I've waited for you to contact me for a long time, but you never came. Until now. But why me? Why am I the Radiant Ark? Because you are the one who will save us all. You are the only ones with power to do so. I don't understand. You will, soon enough. Don't worry. I see you are wearing the pendant I gave you. Keep it with you at all times, okay? I won't be able to help you otherwise. What are you talking about? My mother gave me this pendant, not you. Time will tell, but right now you need to concentrate. Wait, don't tell me Iron... His mom is Iron's avatar or something. Darkness in this world is growing sh ever stronger. I can't control the Moria for much longer, as their power grows with each shard I obtain. This war is spread from your world to Elysium, and the holy beings are in distress. Separus is the mind behind it all. He plans to release Stardon from his seal and rule both the earth and the heavens. Separus? You mean there's a... Would the another of the holy beings go rogue? Two rogue holy beings. How the heck are we going to beat this? I request that, unless Separus is some cultist and, uh, and not actually a holy being, in which case we might still have a chance. I request the Guild of Light to keep the identity of the Radiant Ark a secret and aim in his journey to collect the shards. Yes, of course, God Siren. We are fully committed to helping the Radiant Ark. Thank you. I have full faith we can stop darkness from spreading. I must leave now. Be safe, Radiant Ark. Amazing, the goddess appeared. My apologies for doubting you, Radiant Ark. Now I must prepare you for your journey to collect the crystals. Holy Knight Isabel, will you please be our companion? I will have to decline, as my other duties need my full attention. I believe my apprentice will be more than capable of protecting the Radiant Ark. Are you sure this is a good idea? Yes, I am certain. Just as certain as the sun coming with the dawn. Very well. Your intuition has never led us astray before. Thank you. I won't let you down. You will need to travel to the Kingdom of Fail in the west for the Purple Shard. You will encounter many obstacles on your way there, so be prepared. Before you leave tomorrow morning, the Guild of Light will provide you with provisions and an official lair for the shards. The Guild of Light is already in possession of the White Shard, and Separus has taken the Yellow Shard. Now all of you, please get some rest. The fate of our world is in your hands. We'll pray for your success and provide our support. Is Separus the name of that demon of the Moria who was fighting Linky's mother? Such a long day. I'm the Radiant Ark, huh? The story was true after all. Why then? When my mother was fighting for her life, why didn't I have the power to help her? I'm so goddamn weak, and the fate of the world lies on my shoulders. What a joke. I need to get stronger. Now more than ever.
Why, are you, why is there a door knocking sound when there's no door? Blinky, are you still awake? Yeah, you couldn't sleep either, I assume? No, how could I? I'm so worried about tomorrow, but also excited. Me too, but just the worry part. I know that's a good cause, that what we do is great. I can't shake this feeling of, you know, that I shouldn't do it. What do you mean, Linky? I'm Linking, like, why me? Why do I have to do this? But you're the Radiant Arc, you know that? I do, but I feel unworthy. Linky. I'm too weak to be the hero that the Radiant Arc is supposed to be, and don't you dare tell me otherwise. I was always the worst of us when it came to fighting and you know it. Even that insufferable Asteric was stronger than me. I only beat that monster back home because of some glorified power boost. It wasn't of my own skill. If I am the Radiant Arc, why am I not as powerful as the stories say? If I'm the goddamn Radiant Arc of the power to save the world, then why couldn't I save my mother? I'm sorry, Lexi. Today has been enlightening. Really, it has. But it opened my eyes in a lot of bad ways, too. I realize that I'm still learning who I am, who I'm going to be. I have a lot to live up to, and I don't think I... Linky, I understand. I do. But you need to remember that you're not alone anymore. I'm here for you, and I always will be. You are precious to me, Linky. You really are. Even though you've only been with us for a few years, I feel closer to you than anyone else I know. Thanks, Lexi. I... Thank you. You're the most precious thing I have, too. And I'll get stronger, for the both of us. Everyone ready to go? Yuppers. I'll follow wherever you go, Radiant Arc. Just call me Linky, Terrence. Okay, Linky, then. I've acquired provisions from the Guild of Light. I'm so excited to go. Off to fail. Right, let's go. I, mean, I hope it has some equipment upgrades, because I feel like the next opponents are just too strong for me right now. Most Linky was renounced to the Radiant Arc by the Holy Goddess Siren. Now Linky, accompanied by the young, naive Heldon, Terrence, and Lexi, a close friend wanting to protect him and more, journey off into the world to find the seven shards in order to restore the Grand Crystal. They head west to their first destination. The kingdom, of, uh, the kingdom will fail to obtain their first shard, but what awaits them on their journey? Though the shards may be used for peace, so too can they be used for violence in the hands of the evil and corrupt. Why is evil seeking the shards now? What will happen when they obtain all seven? And why did the number of monsters ever increase even in daylight? Will the world ever be peaceful again? The shards shed their light silently. I can hold, a to fa hold Z to fast forward. I can offer you enormous power, the power to crush all who oppose you, or perhaps you would prefer the adoration of all your peers. I don't know, it sounds too good to be true. Isn't there someone you care for, someone you love? Yeah, but she loves some idiot instead. Some idiot instead. If you embrace the darkness, her love will be yours. She will marvel at your power, enamored and willing to your every whim. Given to the darkness. Lexi. This is Derek, huh? He's gone yandere. Just say the word. Say the word and she will become yours. I'll do it. It's a deal. Heh. Welcome, Dark Knight. Welcome. Quest completed. Quest added. Before we leave, I'd like to visit the Shrine of the First Paladin and receive his blessing for the journey ahead. You may come too if you wish. Yes. Where is it? Sure thing, Terrence. Just tell me where. Thank you. It's in the basement of the Guild of Light. Is it a dungeon, though? Do we have to pass some trial? Level medium? Oh, wait, why do you have a... Why is she named? Is, is there a special event with her? Take this charm, it will protect you on your journey. I, I've always believed in ter you, Terrence, that you would find the Radiant Ark. So now be sure to stay safe and show the world hope. Isabel Charm. Max health by 15 and a, lot of, a bit of defense as well. Welcome to the Guild of Light. The line for the test is up ahead. I think you can cancel that test now. There's been a large increase of recruits lately, don't you think? Well, since we're being so sp so spread thinly, we need more members. No large increase. Okay, we're saying the same thing here. Isn't Holy Light Knight Isabel so cool? 
Yeah, what about the whole what Holy Night Barrel? Isn't he so dreamy? Radiant Orc, be sure to always have arrows for your bow. Both have a natural defense penetration and increased critical chance. Use this to your advantage. Red stat book. You try to hide up a plant. What? Welcome back, Paladin Terrence. The line for Candidates is up ahead. Orange stat book. Have you ever heard of the first Paladin? His statue is in the basement. Check it out for yourself. Accessories. I'm too poor. Just bear off hoping for the best when searching for dun in dungeons, yeah? What about you? What do you have? Pretty much the same, I guess. At this point, all my stuff is as good as I can possibly get. Even though paladins and clerics have important jobs, us guards are also important for protecting the Guild of Light. Holy Iron. Welcome. Would you like to receive the goddess Iron's blessing? Uh, I guess. What does that mean? Okay, so our max MP increased by 5. I guess it's a one time blessing, it's a permanent increase, which we'll need because our starting MP is kind of low in this game. Every- uh, I got, I'm gonna have to visit every priest I can find, then. Sell items here. Medium potions. We're gonna need these soon. I've been saving these up for those long battles of attrition. There are a lot of people in line. It took me weeks to finally get here. Now I'm stuck in line. I saw a sign somewhere and I decided to come try the test. I trained my fighting skills for years. I'm ready for this. I'm a black mage talented in using all the elements. Well, if I'm not the Radiant Orc, I wouldn't mind helping the Guild of Light. I wonder what the test is like. I wonder if I'll be the one. I'm sorry you'll have to wait in line like everyone else. We'll test you once we get to you. Sorry this is a long process. Please wait in line. I find that the spiritual test is one of the harder tests to pass. Be sure to remove dangerous states as soon as possible. Gotta stay focused. Paladins can use a variety of equipment including all heavy armors, maces, flail, swords, spears, and wands. But everyone can equip anything in this battle system. I'm originally from Lona, a kingdom to the west. I originally trained as a Lona Dragoon, but I moved to the Guild of Light to lend my assistance. A Paladin's cover skill is perfect for protecting your weaker teammates. However, by timing it right before a strong enemy attack, you can negate a lot of the incoming damage. You may enter. Grandmaster Weimer. Is he really going to get fired? Like, can we go further north? What? That's where they're keeping all the crystals, but what if someone just breaks in and steals them at the end of the game anyways? Radiant Orc, be sure to keep your identity a secret. The demons are looking for and killing potential people who are the Radiant Orc. Even though we have found you, we will continue the search to not raise suspicions. Please recover the crystals, Radiant Orc. The fate of the world depends on you. Save and restore. Sounds like there's going to be a boss fight in here the moment I fill in every crystal. This is the Shard Room, Radiant Arc. We currently hold the Light Shard and we are trying our best to recover the rest to reform the Grand Crystal. The Living Quarters is downstairs. Always fully stock your inventory with items before you leave a town. The wilderness is very dangerous at night. Even I'm, I still don't feel comfortable fighting those nighttime wolves. They're so fast. Even if I can kill them in a few hits, they can kill me in a few hits. It's nice to be on break right now. Magical attacks take a while to charge, but hit very hard if using elemental weakness. It's important to make sure you cover the el different elements in your party. The Kingdom of Fail is known for their elemental magicians, so you might meet some there. Maybe we can recruit one. Holy Archer William is so cool and mysterious looking. If you s ever see his archery skills, it is amazing. The Guild of Light will support you. We will try to send you supplies throughout your journey. Guild of Light Robe. Hmm. 
Mm, less defense, more magic. Mana regen. Would that be worth putting on you? It lose uh, some stats, but gain some others. Hmm. I always find it better to heal early during a fight. Mixed potion. Good to be back. Get tired of eating those trail rations. Learning revive is a key to our growth as a of light members. Learning cure is also really important for removing bad effects. I wonder if we can get a faster medic type character. Oh, look at them block the stairs like that. This. Okay, there. Here it is. Oh, hello, sir. I've not seen you around before. Don't mind me, Paladin Terrence. I just came to. I just. I've just come to ponder. I see. Wait. How do you know my name? That's kind of creepy. Ha. Huh, I suppose so. Are you one of the elder paladins? You could say that. You came for a blessing before your journey, correct? Yes, that's right. No, keep. Let me keep you then. Go on. Oh, holy knight, the first of our line. I request your blessing on our adventure. By your example, I will vanquish the darkness that binds and restricts the radiance of the light. This I swear upon my name and my vows to the covenant to uphold the stature of the first paladin. Wonderfully recited, paladin. Isabel taught you well. I learned from the best. She's the most prominent paladin of the Guild of Light, after all. I have a feeling you'll surpass her, given time. Really? Quite so. You'll just have to take the final step. And what step is that? When, when, only when you are ready, venture through the Cave of Ordeals. This is where you'll truly become a Warrior of Light. Wait, a Warrior of Light? Not a Paladin. I know what I've said, Terence. Make of it what you will. Goodbye and good luck. How strange. What part of that wasn't strange? Touché. But what I meant was him calling Terence a Warrior of Light. Aren't warriors and paladins basically the same thing? No. The warriors of light were the original guardians of the Grand Crystal in the time before the Shattering. They were viewed as demigods and could not be matched in combat. They gave their lives to split the Grand Crystal into the shards we have today. Do you think you'll become the next incarnation of a war warrior of light? Maybe you'll become one too, Lexi. I don't know, but should we have the time? May we go to the Cave Ordeals? It would seem I have some business there. Sure, but it seems like it might be a high-level place. You finished here then? I am. Let's get going then. Quest updated. Cave of Ordeals. That sounds dangerous. I can miss this chest before. What the heck? It's a few mixed potions. Alright, let's try out the bandit cave. Maybe bandits will drop more money because they're human type enemies, huh? Yeah, they're they're represented by bald people instead of blue flames. Why are there different types of bandits? Weird. Radiant Feather. They're also a bit faster than other types. Cheese. Mushroom bread. Arrows. There's so many holes in the ground. How do the bandits live here? Won't they accidentally fall in the hole and die? Guess it can't be picky, huh? Hmm. Okay, is there a place I can raid Swift Radiant Feather? Tea. Orange. Some money. Sausage, red apple. Ner okay, the next map I need I should explore this place a bit first. T Huh. What why is there one guy in front of a bunch in the back? I was hoping I could get them all with my I have so many arrows, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Why would you put the mage in front? Why? No. 
No more mage for you. No, they have white attack. They have guns? Guard. They're buffing each other. You know what? I, I gotta use Arrow Volley. Level up. And got a decent amount of money, too. That actually covers an entire instay. Twice. That's actually really good. These guys might be actually good for grinding. I think I got all I could on this floor. Bandit cave again. They don't really number these floors, do they? Red cure all potion 250, radiant feather, orange. Let me just instantly get rid of everything in the room. There's two entrances. What am I supposed to do? There's so many arrows. More than I actually need. Okay, which way do I go? And you're the merchant. Okay, there's the leader. Are we ready for this? We lost our buff, so that kind of sucks. And wish the band leader. Yes. But there's two... The guy's waiting in for us, so that was not much of an ambush. We were the ones who got surprised. That sucks. Now they're gonna beat the shit out of us, and we can't do anything about it. Oh my goodness. If only there was an option to, I don't know, do something about the minions first. Oh no. He's, where, where's my cooking? I need to make apple juice to heal everyone. Cover. Please heal faster. It's an emergency. We're so dead. Holy shit. Oh, a barrier. Yes, give us that healing. Nice counter. Arrow volley. Okay. Reflective armor. Wide attack. Ow. I still have cover active, so let's just use take a time uh, the time to use healing on Linky. He's buffing himself further. Ooh. 
determination. I still have my attack buffs, so, uh, skill... Wounding shot. But I won't be able to do much after this. Super strike. And one shot it. What was that? And it K and they're and they poof. These guys did not get any characterization, no dialogue at all. It was just a bunch of random bandits that we beat up for loot. Hmm. And there's the the minor bandits are still here. But there's, they're not in this storage room, fortunately for me. Brutalizer. That sounds pretty brutal. It hits harder, but it also has a lot of stat penalties, so... Not sure if it's... Reduced heal? Oh, no. it's That's something I can inflict to the enemy. Hmm. Definitely good... Only equipping this for like one turn and switching back so, to minimize uh, the, the amount of time I have to equip it. Yup. Really wish I could get a fourth party member already to give all my uh, 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 all my s axes to. Don't have to ha have Linky compromise his speed. Yeah, so I've done all I could. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Radiant Arc. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.